How to consolidate multiple data ranges into one summary worksheet. Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to take data from similar ranges, even from different worksheets, and consolidate all of that data into a single worksheet summary page. On this worksheet I have a very simple uh, piece of data. I've got a label in row 1 and labels in column A. The data is here, the percentages. And what I'm showing here is a percent, percentages of how much was spent out of a single budget for these items during the year 2016. Down here at the bottom of my worksheet you can see that there are prior years and as I click into each tab showing each prior year it shows the different percentages that were spent on these items over the past five years. So what I want to do is create a single page where it will consolidate all five years, all the data, in such a way that I can instantly compare them and see what the trends has been. First I need to create a new page. At the bottom of the screen I click to start a new sheet. I'm going to name the sheet by right-clicking and clicking Rename on the tab. I'm just going to call it Master Summary. You can click anywhere on the blank Master Summary page to start your summary. Most people just begin in cell A1. So what we do is we go to the Data tab on the Home ribbon at the top and then in the Data Tools group we click Consolidate. In the Consolidate dialog box we see three basic fields Function, Reference, and All References. The, the default setting for Function is Sum. You can try some of these other functions if you wish but in, for, in the example that I'm doing now Sum is the most common one. So I'm going to leave it at sum. I'm also going to make sure here in the lower left corner that these checkboxes are checked. I do have labels in the top row and in the left column of my data. I'm also going to put a check mark here to link to the source data. What that will do is it will allow me to let the master summary page instantly update if I ever have to go back into the previous worksheets and make any changes to the data there. So now, I'm going to move this over just a little bit. I'm going to click into the Reference tab and I'm going to start by clicking the 2016 tab. The 2016 tab appears, that worksheet appears, and the reference is displayed here in the reference field. The next thing I need to do is select the entire data field. So I'm going to start with cell A1, click and drag down into cell B5. So this is what my reference will look like. Now what I'm doing is locating each reference in this middle field and when I click the Add button here it will add that reference to my list of references that will be included in the summary. So the next thing I need to do is go back in time down at the bottom of the screen and click each tab in turn. So I'm going to click 2015. Notice that now I'm on the 2015 page and my reference here is showing the year 2015. If I click Add, it will add 2015 to my list. And the reason I can do it so easily is because on each page my data is set up and displayed exactly the same way on each page. So now I'm going to click 2014. There's the 2014 reference. Click Add click 2013, click Add, 
and click 2012 and click Add. So now that I've got all five years uh, listed here in my for my summary, I'm going to click OK and instantly the summary is built. I'm going to deselect it to remove the shading and I'm going to click and drag so that column A is stretched out a little bit more so I can see all of the labels there. So here's a summary that's showing all five years in the same area and in addition it automatically grouped my data. If you look way over here on the far left hand side you'll see the one and the two and the plus signs that indicate that these rows have been grouped. So if I want to ungroup a row I can click one plus sign and that will ungroup one row and you can see all the detailed percentages for that one row. So what I did was I ungrouped the printer paper row. If I wanted to ungroup all of the rows I could click the number two and if I wanted to group them back again I can click the number one. So now these have been grouped I can format any part of this in any way I want and so this is how you can consolidate and display a summary of multiple separate ranges from different worksheets all on the same worksheet.